Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for February the 27th. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy, so you may want to stick around and see what that one's all about before I jump into the cards for each sign and we look at how those energies work together. Let's see. Overall energy is showing up as... What do we have here? The Hermit. Okay. Overall energy for the Hermit. Look at him holding that book. So the Hermit energy talks about spending some time um, alone or if you're not alone, like around people that you kind of feel like you're alone, you're really focused on your own stuff. Things are starting to fall. The day is a little crazy. <laughs> um, so anyway, really focusing on understanding yourself better understanding better what makes you tick what makes you trigger what makes you happy what makes you sad all that good stuff if you're feeling ambitious you might even undo a trigger deactivate a trigger who knows all right but definitely you're setting some priorities moving forward and you're figuring out where do i go from here so that's the kind of energy that we see coming up now of course it is overall energy so it could be happening for each of us, uh, or it could be happening for somebody in our sphere of influence, too, for some of us. All right, let's get serious. Let's take a peek at the other signs, all the signs. Aries. Okay, so Aries, we have, yeah, Temperance showing up here. What a great Temperance card, actually. So Temperance showing up for Aries, this just tells me that you're being very patient with yourself as you're going through this time of being alone and sort of the, sorting out your priorities. You're giving yourself the time you need to do that. That's awesome. Good for you, Aries. Next up, we're looking at Taurus. Okay, so Taurus. You guys have the two of chalices showing up here along with that hermit. This is basically telling me that you're really enjoying some alone time, some time to set your priorities. Like you are just um, marinating in that in a very positive way. All right, let's look at Gemini. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords. <laughs> Geminis, you are definitely in a very conscious way going into hermit mode. You're cutting off communication with the outside world. So in the old days when I was a little kid, this would mean unplugging the phone from the wall. <laughs> Nowadays, it means turning the phone off, turning off the computer, not letting messages come through. Cutting yourself off from the outside world to give yourself some time to set some priorities. Okay, Cancers. Oh, look at that, Cancers. You guys have the High Priestess showing up here. This is just telling me that you guys are um, really taking some time alone to, to tap into your own psychic abilities, to understand them more and to strengthen them more. Next up, we're looking at Leo. Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands. Interesting card here. I'm still getting used to these cards. I'm sure you guys can tell. <laughs> okay, so. Interesting. Nine of Wands. I think what's going on here for you, Leos, and this is, I say it's interesting because it's so against what I know about your personality, um, but I think you're really kind of just tired of being around people. You really want some alone time to sort things out for yourself. And you're just, you're tired of the things that people are coming at you with is what I'm hearing. You know, you're tired of the energies that they're throwing at you and the demands that they have for you. And I, th I think you're feeling a little boxed in right now. So you would rather be alone than, than be boxed in by other people. Next up, we're looking at Virgo. Okay, Virgos. Three of Swords. What is going on on this card? Boop -a -dee -doo -doo, boop -a -da -doo. Hmm. Not quite, but it almost looks like this man has his fingers crossed behind his back, doesn't it? 
Very interesting. All right, so Virgos, I think that you are taking some time to reset your priorities because you've had some kind of heartache or disappointment in your life, and so now you're taking some time to to reset your priorities and figure out, well, where do I go from here? What's the next thing that I can do that might have a positive outcome instead of something similar to this? So that looks like you're moving forward actually in a really healthy way, to be honest with you. You're processing things and then coming out in a good space. And who was that? That was Virgo, right? Yes. Next up, we're looking at Libra. Nine of Chalices. Libra, you're going inside yourself to think about some things because there's been something going on where you're realizing that whatever you're doing with your life is not making you feel very satisfied or fulfilled. And so you're looking at why isn't it it used to, I think. Why isn't it now and what would now? What would make you feel satisfied and fulfilled? Next up, Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio, we're definitely doing some self-work today with that devil card showing up in reverse that talks about facing some kind of fear or obsession or addiction or any other toxic thing, a toxic friendship, toxic romantic relationship, and really just not letting it have control over us anymore. So we're going into hermit mode just to get on top of whatever that is. Self-work, baby. That's Scorpio's middle name, having that Pluto impact on us. That's our middle name. Okay, so Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right, Seven of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Hmm, what's happening here? <clears throat> Sagittarius, I think that you're looking for uh, you're spending some time in seclusion looking for a way of how to redeem a situation, how to turn it around and make it better. You've got a bad situation that you are going into seclusion to figure out, can I fix this situation? If so, how? If not, what do I need to be doing? What should I be focusing on? Boop -ba -da -do -do. You can always get a reading if you're really confused about that. Just saying. All right, so Capricorn, yes, Capricorn next. What do we have? The Magician showing up in reverse. Capricorn. This is interesting because I see you going into seclusion because you're trying to get something done. You're trying to accomplish something and you're doing all the action steps it takes to normally accomplish this, but it's not actually happening. Here's the thing to remember today, Capricorns. Ask Spirit to help you with whatever this is that you're trying to manifest and you feel like you're beating your head against the wall. That's the one thing that's missing there is that you're not asking for Spirit help. So ask for Spirit help. You have free will. You get to change these cards and make them be liars if you want. Make that one be a liar. Actually get something accomplished here. Next up, we're looking at Aquarius. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I don't have tea left. All right, that feels better. So Aquarius. It's funny because the hermit and the hanged man are very similar energies, Aquarius. Hanged man talks about looking at things from a different perspective. Hermit talks about getting away from other people to think things over. So... I really think you are getting away from people to think things over and to try to get a different perspective, try to get a more objective perspective than what you can have when you've got 15 gazillion people around that all have opinions that they are happy, happy, happy to share with you. All right, that was Aquarius. Next up, we're looking at Pisces. Okay, Pisces, Seven of Chalices. That's a very Piscean type energy itself, actually. Um, I think that, Pisces, I think that you're spending some time by yourself and you're really um, just looking at what can I do to improve my life? You know, you're setting some priorities about what you want and you're also taking that next step. You're going, okay, how do I get there? What's the best first step towards getting there? All right. 
So that's what we've got for everybody. Thank you all so much for being here today. I do appreciate all of your kind support. Uh, please remember, put a thumbs up on this video. Put a comment down below and share it out to the world, if you will. Um, all of that stuff helps with the logarithm, and it's incredibly important. And of course, I am looking forward to reading for some of you on the phone and some of you online later on today. And the rest of you, I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out.